Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friend 23 here, and welcome back to a new episode of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. We ended last episode with uh, jumping down in the pillar ruins here, in the East Gerudo. And today we're gonna continue exploring it, I think. And then we're also gonna go to Gerudo Town after this uh, ruins. And... Uh, Complete the quest for a really, really good weapon. Which we took a lot of yesterday's episode. And did the main parts of that quest. And now we only have to turn it in again. Which is nice. But first, let's take some ores here. Ooh, I know what that means. That means we're gonna find some gear inside here. I see a chest. Ah. Don't need all these damn shields. Okay, so they are all pointing towards one way. All pointing to this middle building here. I feel sorry for this. They are so easy to kill, these Gibdos. That's a good bow. I think we're gonna. Maybe not drop the durability up also, we can drop this one instead. Changed weapon there. We managed either way, which is good. Where's the chest? I was like, it's gonna be a shield. It's gonna be a shield. Diamond, please. Yes, not. Okay, so we still need to find the frog in this cave and also the loot with the gear piece. Bright looms, I've said it a lot of times, they are good to pick up for selling. Oops. Can my uh, sages please do something? Thank you. I didn't feel of like changing weapons. Attach a blunt weapon on the sword we just picked up. <laughs> and pray for the diamond. But as ruby and sapphire is nice. Like getting both in one war. It's a 
a lot of bright blooms. How many are we up to now? Wrong. Nine hundred and twenty-eight. Soon we really need. Oh, we need to go and sell because I think uh, like the max amount is nine hundred and ninety-nine. If I'm not mistaken. I think that was pretty much it. Regarding the the ores. Okay. Yes, up we go. It's in here. Okay, so we need to jump down from the right thing. Okay. Makes sense. So should we just mark it maybe? Can be smart to do. It's that one. Now let us ascend somewhere here, hopefully. Real. Not gonna let me ascend. And from here, yeah. Okay, so we're going into this over here. I wonder what piece of gear is gonna be inside here. Attack up pants. Yes, that's okay. Also, I know you're here. And I saw the chest. Can it be a shield maybe? No, for once it was a topaz. Nice, so now we're done with that. Let me go back here. And also try to remember to snap a pick on Garrison now. Oops. There you are. Basak. I'm always shocked when I speak with others about you. It's a real Sauten, a surprise. How incredible you are. Sarkso for not only helping Gerudo Town, but also helping me. If not for you, my people may have forever lost the knowledge of how to make the arms of the Seven. They are a legendary sword and shield passed down among the Gerudo, wielded by a chosen individual. I'm talking about a shield called the Daybreaker and a sword known as the Scimitar of the Seven. I have chosen you to carry the arms of the Seven. Would you allow me to make this? Yes, let's get to crafting. Okay then, let me just make sure you have everything. Four diamonds, ten pieces of flint, a Gerudo Scimitar and a Gerudo shield. Hehe, <laughs> I, I knew you could do it. This is everything I need to get going. Give me a minute. There we go. I poured all my heart into making this. Here, take them. They are a true symbol of the gratitude of the Gerudo. This was the weapon I'm talking about. Because this is times two when you fuse it. And it also has good durability. Because it's not a, like a broken sword like all the other swords are. <laughs> and we get a nice little shield as well. Okay. Where can we find Mattison? Maybe she's down in the classroom. Oh, 
oh, while we're here, why not use this? So do two hard containers. I think that's 20. No children in the classroom. Okay. And I guess he doesn't get a picture on his daughter today. Um, why not continue on the Kuroko for its things today here? Because I read a comment saying you sh we should use um, that we should use a torch with some fire to be able to walk in the forest. Let's try to do that. But to be able to use a torch with fire, we need something made of wood that can burn. <laughs> that I don't have. Maybe I should have planned that before I quick travel here. Well, we can at least expand our weapon inventory here. The weapon stash. 25 Kurokos, huh? That's expensive. I'll take it. Because now if we can find a... <laughs> if we could find that torch then we can then we have room for it so where could one find a torch in here I have a hard time seeing this be place that has it it's like shrines everywhere you go just thinking here how I should approach this let me just go and get um, a torch that's what I'm lacking Usually torches exist near the um, stables. Like they can be stand next to these sometimes. Here we have a torch. Perfect. That was all we needed. And back, and back we go. From here, let's start with this place. It's been a while, so maybe I should go see how it's going over there. Over there. Up ahead, there's a special place just for Maka. In the forest, there's a wide open space, and right in the middle, there's a green swirl. And you can see an island floating in the sky from there. Maka loved that place. Oh, but since it's covered in lost fog, only Kuroko can go there. So you can't come with me, but... I tell you where to find it. Could you show me the map? Thank you. It's there. Okay. You can see an island floating in the sky from there. I wonder if you could see into the forest from that sky island too. Okay. That's actually great information. Okay, 
Okay, so it's that thing I also made red, huh? Okay, let's try to get there. Somehow. Okay, I need to light the rod earlier, I guess. Okay. So we have a torch. We also need some fire. There we go. That didn't help. So either I'm the stupid one or that comment someone left wasn't true. How did I scare you with the fire? Sorry. But they told me a sky island is above. Where you can see this thing. Let's just get up here then, I guess. By listening to, to him, we should be able to see... Uh, we actually see the shrine from here. So I guess I'm I'm gonna be able to fall to that thing. Also, while we have it, why not use the falling cloth? Ah, oh, so nice. Whoa, that was closer than I thought. Nice! Of course. Good bow. And here also you are. Oh, you found this place. Even though you're not a Kuroko. This is a special place that I, Maka, found. Maka likes to come here alone sometimes. Didn't think I'd fight someone else here. Is this like a teleporter? No. Should I be able to walk in this forest now? I guess like the whiter parts here, you're able to walk at without forgetting who you are or where you um, came from. So I'm wondering if I walk here and then run through here, am I able to reach this place? I mean I should walk here. And then it's a long... Really long run there, huh? Okay, let's try the fire again. And here we also have shrooms. I remember from earlier they told me follow the shrooms. Follow the shrooms. Where are shrooms now? Maybe I can go here. No, 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 no. Where do I get put? Do 
So it wasn't left, maybe it's not right either. Fucking hell. Where am I now? Still at the same place. I'm almost frozen in my place here because I'm not sure where I'm going. Let's try this way. Ah, oh, nice. This was the wrong way. Where did it put me? I'm actually guessing it's this way, it makes sense. Need to start a fire again. Guessing here. This stone is a bit sus. <laughs> like, why is it a platform in the middle here? Oh well. We found this place at least. Oh god, that's a lot of fish. This must be some type of gear piece, please. Okay, but a nice bow though. I'm not sure what to drop for it. I guess I'm gonna drop that. Didn't I also have a quest with like snapping a picture on this place? I have a vague memory of snapping a picture on this place was a quest. One of Kula's friends said they saw a big swirly circle in the water. Kula can't go look himself, but said he could. He would like to see that swirly thing. Which water are we talking about? Then we had this. He wants to find us Forest Dweller's shield. I don't see no swirl. swirly things. That's a bummer that it wasn't here. Maybe I should just snap a pick on it. Even though it's not here. So who is the werewolf thing? You wanna see it? Is it you? A big circle that spins in the water. If it's real, I wanna see it as a picture. 
Yeah, but which water? Maybe it's this. But here it looks like I've been. <laughs> I have no clue. Maybe I didn't have as much quests here that I thought I had. That's actually something we can do, because I know a chasm should be in these islands. It could be nice going and exploring them. This is the place where we have the house, but we almost ne haven't explored this place at all. Like the surrounding area. I think that could be a nice thing to do, actually. Let's start with waking this up over here. That we need some sneak. Fail. There we go. That they wake up for. Okay, sure. Everything. Boom. They all die. First in here. This is better. Oh, change cloth also, otherwise we're gonna one be one hitted here. No 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 no. This we can do. No chest. Nope. Oh. Okay, so the islands are here, huh? I thought they would be much closer to the water. And a shrine over there as well. I think we will manage to climb this. Just need to change to this. Get the speed. Oh my god, it's so slow. Ice. Really hope I have food with stamina. The hell? That refilled everything. I'm not complaining though, because I hate to that slow ascend. Thank you. Roko here. Probably in the tallest of the trees. If I could take a guess. Oh. That's no good.
That was no good. Arrow. Yeah. Now we can't claim the Kuroko. It's a bummer. Maybe we should just put a reminder there for the future. To at least know that it exists. If we want to complete it in the future here. Is this the... yeah. That's the chasm. It's like one part of me don't really want to jump down here quite yet. Because it's gonna be hard to get back to this island after. Let's do it. I want to know what's inside here. Oh, so... Which way are we looking? We're looking the wrong way. So is it like a chasm on every... Or is that... Maybe this... There we go after. Okay. Oh my god. That's a lot of enemies. Probably gonna do this. There we go. Just to spread out the enemies for a bit here. That's no... That's no kind. So thank you. There we go. Finally. Nothing. Okay, so let's explore if this cave keeps on going. Yeah, it does. out our good fire sage friend there you are again oh, nice So you can use electricity also, huh? That's good knowledge to have. Wow, fail.
That's actually really good to know. Sages. Was it really nothing in here? Ah, oh, some enemies, of course. Okay. You guys enjoy a dazzle fruit. Other shells, sages, there you are. Very nice. Just gonna see if they drop any more nice ores for me here. I wonder what's gonna be in the on the last island over here. We even have a a marking on it, which is cool. Perhaps it's some boss fight of some sort. That would be fun. Oh, a spear, which is nice, but I don't think I have room for any more weapons at the moment. Stop freaking unsummon yourself. You're doing it by yourself. I'm not even walking and you somehow you you walk where you despawn. So stand still now, please. There we go. And they can chase me if they want. Last one. It's a chest, huh? Gonna be some gear, I guess. 
Then how am I supposed to get out of this place? I know I can... Oh my god. Quick travel out. That's no fun. Ooh, cap of the wind. Can it climb? Don't think so. Okay. Will this do anything? Not damage wise. I think this is still the best thing is just to mash on bomb barrel on this dudes. Boom. And then is it Phantom Ganon time also? Yeah. For that. I would like a one-handed, but I guess that's too much to ask for. One, two, and I'm hit. Yeah, so with the two-handed side, I can only do one hit, huh? One, two. Uh oh. That should be it. I only already have Gloom Sword. And the Demon King bow. So I'm probably gonna leave the bow. The bow is so good though. I really like it. I have never used it. But it's a good looking bow. Ah. We have two of them. So we can have that for now. Was that everything we could do here? Or is it something of value up here? Also? We came from there. we're done here then we're gonna go back to this place okay, so the shrine should be bit this way. Correctly, the shrine is. Yeah, yeah, now we heard. It. There it is. Nice with the upstream there also. And it makes us easy to, to climb the, the mountain later. After the shrine here.
A well-timed bounce. I wonder, am I supposed to be on this thing? That's it, Tom. Huh? I guess so. Three shrine away from have completed a hundred shrines, which is nice. Take me all the way up or not. Oh my god, for reals. That's bad. Okay, you can grab onto the wall, please. And of course, it starts raining. Why not? Even though it says it said sun. <laughs> It only started raining because I wanted to climb there, huh? That's no kind. thought that was wind up. Yes, it was not. Let's take this wind here. There we go. That wasn't too hard. It's something with the weather, like if you're on, on the island, it doesn't rain, but as soon as you're outside of this island, it rains. <laughs> get to the tip here. Is that really it? That's a Kuroko. Are we supposed to get there without touching anything? That was close. <laughs> yeah. But looking at the time... We have run out of it for this episode. If you have enjoyed watching this video, please consider leaving a like. It helps me a lot. Also consider subscribing if you haven't already. This has been 23. I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.